quite some time ago, we uh, redid the seal on this with, with our Formula 8 material. That was almost a year and a half ago when I ran the first test on this. I never had any idea that it would really work, but I tried it. I figured, what the hell? It's either that or overhaul the cylinder. I'm lazy. But what I do is I took off this packing gland here, packed it full of uh, Formula 8, put it back together again, and then cycle it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down to see if we stop that leak. Worked pretty well. We put it on the web, and much to my surprise, we got 26,000 hits on it. I'd really apparently have touched the nerve. And when I did this, I thought it was a bit of a joke because I wasn't expecting it to work as well as it did. So far now, this is a year and a half, and as you can see, this is running pretty dry. We'll run it up a few and down a few times so you can see what I'm talking about. We have quite a few people come in and uh, are testing it in big cylinders. We had one guy come in the other day, he said it cost him $5,000 to fix the cylinder not too long ago on one of his big machines. And he was only too glad to try this because it's only going to cost him about $25 to do the job. It's a big comparison. If you can make the difference between $5,000 and $25, you're on our team. If that doesn't seem to fit for you, then go and overhaul the cylinder. I have no objection to you doing that. I think it, in a, that's probably a smart thing to do. But in one case, the guy was working in a sandblasting area where they were sending getting sand grit on the cylinders and it was chewing up the O-rings. It didn't make a difference whether they were new or not. A few cycles and they would start leaking again. So he's testing it right now. And once we find out more about that, I'll, I'll update you and let you know what's going on. In the meantime, we'll run it up and down a few times so you can see what, what's going on here. going here. This, uh, that was only two cycles, but I'll show you that there's no weepage even. This gets quieter as time goes on. Some of our material has gotten out to the outside here, and you see it forms a sort of a uh, stringy mixture of titanium dioxide and Teflon, which gets into the nooks and crannies on those O-rings and seals them up. It's a little bit like chewing gum, if you want to call it that. Now, we've had some people on the web call us up and say what happens when that quote gloop gets down into the gearboxes or into the pumps but the fact is you have to realize there's two o-rings down here and this is on the on the on the low pressure side of the o-rings the chances of much of it getting down here is pretty slim and the fact is this stuff chews up very quickly in a system like that anyhow and so i don't think it's going to cause any trouble we've had so many dozens of people call in with problems out in the field with the very expensive machines that were down that are testing this right now and I'm hoping that they'll get back to us and let us know how it worked out, and we'll put it on the web when we get it. In the meantime, this was a big surprise. Every once in a while you look out on something, and this is one of those cases where it was a it's serendipity. I don't know if you're familiar with the term or not, but it means when you fall into a bucket and come up smelling like a rose. I won't tell you what the bucket was. And in a case like this, it was just one of these lucky occurrences. Now, there's a lot of people out there with a lot of very expensive machinery. If it costs you $5,000 to overhaul a cylinder on a machine, versus a quick fix on it, it was out in the field, then you can figure that $5,000 is not only downtime, but overhaul time. That's a lot of money. I've had a couple of guys call me up and said they would much rather do what I'm doing than to spend the $5,000 with several days of downtime. Take your pick. If you want to overhaul a cylinder, go right ahead. I have no objection to it. But the thing is, that if you're like me and you're quick to get the machine going again, and you've got a, a situation where downtime's expensive or the machine's old, 
then this is worth a try. You got nothing to lose. I've got no, not one single negative comment from the people who've used the product back from the field yet. We'll keep you posted. If we get some negatives, we'll let you know what they are. So far, we haven't gotten any.